something like this. All right, so when dealing with absolute value equations, the main important thing I want you guys to understand is basically remember what an absolute value is. The absolute value of a, num of a number basically tells us the absolute value distance from 0. And if you guys remember when we did inequalities, we graphed on a number line, right? OK? So what the absolute value dit means is pretty much the absolute distance from 0. So you can say 3, that has an absolute distance of 1, 2, 3. Where the absolute value of negative x, I'm sorry, where of negative 3, all right, the absolute value of negative 3 is, again, 1, 2, 3. We know it's in the negative direction, but you, I still had to move over three units to the left, right? So the absolute distance is positive 3. Okay, So if I say what's important about this, if I say the absolute value of x, all right, that means x could be what? x could be positive, and x could also be negative, negative right? Because it's always going to equal x. Does that make sense? And just remember, an absolute value has to always equal a positive number. right? The absolute value of a variable always has to be positive. Or, um, or, po or always has to be positive. So to solve an absolute value, all right. but what I want you guys to understand is we could plug in a negative x or we could plug in a positive x from right here. But either way, no matter what we do, it's always going to equal x. right? So the first step you guys always want to do is what we call is isolate that absolute value <coughs> sign. ABS represents absolute value. All right? So you've got to isolate it. So Pretend this is like a literal kind of equation. You have this expression here. Let's undo what's happening to it. So I see my absolute value sign is being multiplied by 2 and being added by 6, right? So to do that, we always undo addition and subtraction first. So I subtract a 6 on both sides. Then I have 2, absolute value of 3y minus 5 is equal to 10. Yes? Then. I undo multiplication by 2. So I divide by 2. Now I have 3y minus 5 equals 5. OK? Is that OK? Yes. OK. Now the next step, step 2, is to present your two cases. OK? So. Oh, I'm sorry, that's absolute value, isn't it? All right, two cases. So you're going to have two cases, one case where it's positive and one case where it's negative. All right. Because remember, I can plug in a negative number and a positive number, and it's always going to equal the same value, right? So we have to create a positive and a negative. The positive is easy. You just pretty much rewrite the equation with no absolute value sign. The negative, what you do, 3y minus 5 is equal to negative 5. So for the negative, you just negate the other side. All right? And remember, if it is an expression on the other side, you've got to make sure you negate both of them, right? Apply distributive property. So now, ladies and gentlemen, you just solve, just like we did in equations. y equals 10 thirds. So I know a lot of you guys had trouble on one of the homework quizzes when it's solved for 0. It's more than possible um, to solve and get 0. So you solve for 0. And then the last step is check solutions. All right. So this is where it's going to get a little bit difficult here. When we are um, solving, you guys can see we have two equations, right? So what we want to do is we got to check our solutions and make sure that they both work. So you have to do this, ladies and gentlemen. Do not miss the step. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my original equation, and I'm going to plug in my solutions. I have to make sure they both work. And notice how, when I did that, I put them in parentheses. Does everybody see that? 
I put them in parentheses. So let's do this one. 3 times 10 thirds, right? Put the 3 over 1. 3's divide out to 1. So I really have 10 minus 5, which is? 10 minus 5 is? 5. All right, then absolute value of 5 is? 5. 2 times 5 is? 10. 10 plus 6 is? 16. So is 10 thirds of the solution? Yes. Now let's look over here at 0. 3 times 0 is? 0. 0 minus 5 is? All right, Neg absolute value of negative 5 is? 5. Oh, it's equal 16, right? Oh, shoot. Thank you. Where, where did I get that? Oh, I wrote it up from there. <laughs> That's a good common mistake. Make sure you go, make sure you go back to the original equation. Um, so absolute value of negative 5 is? Positive 5. So 2 times 5 is 10. 10 plus 6 is 16. And 16 equals 16. So is 0 a solution? Yes. OK. And that's it. Now, um, 